Hey guys, I'm back. Wow, I know, I know. It's a strange sight to see me here. I have hair again. A little recap of where I've been because I haven't been posting. Uh, yeah, I guess it all started when my hair fell out. Mm, yeah, it definitely did. It definitely all started when my hair fell out. I was in a toxic relationship. Shave your head when you start dating a guy and see his reaction. If it's not good, leave him. Like, it's a true reflection of their character for sure. After that, shit went downhill. So yeah, uh, that's my advice to everybody. Shave your head when you start a new relationship. See how it goes. If it doesn't go well, like dump him, leave him, run. Out of the toxic relationship thing, the universe sending positivity and light to those still in toxic relationships. From my experience, that's like the thing about toxic relationships. There's a reason you don't leave. Like they're kind of addicting. So you will have your breaking point. You will get fed up. You will realize like what your worth is. You haven't yet, like it's not too late. You gotta work on that. It's not gonna happen on its own you have to like make it happen for yourself so that's my advice to anybody in toxic relationships very important yeah, i just want to give you guys like some like tips that i've been using in my life that are making me feel more positive and sometimes you need a little push and i am here to give you that push so the first thing is journaling i'll grab my journal but it's really ugly so don't judge it it literally does not have a front cover it has my cash app written on the first page heck if you wanna like cash at me go ahead it's the same as my instagram but like the front page just looks so crusty so i'm not gonna show it because it's like embarrassing I'm nearly full i have a couple pages left and then i'm gonna buy myself a new journal i try to only complain in my journal i mean i'm human so my friends could definitely attest like i do complain out loud like, when you're going through something venting that's why we have friends if your friends don't let you vent and they make you feel weird about it run run same as boyfriends that don't like you when you shave your head run if someone can't accept the negative things that come with you then they they don't deserve you because they have negative things that come with them that you're accepting so next i've been journaling journaling really helps me i love it i wrote a letter to my future self and yeah that's a prompt i am challenging you to do just write a letter to your future self it's good to hold yourself accountable and that's also what i use my journal for write down what you want to do that day that month that year that week in this lifetime and if it's written down you gotta fucking do it do what you want to do don't hold yourself back just do it just go um yeah so that's my two cents on journaling i've been loving it i started working out every day now i am human i'm not going to act like recently i've been on my bed but i will tell you the discipline that i've had throughout quarantine looking back really did that shit whatever i've been back on my bullshit like thing there but for a little while like i was like i don't know i fell off a little bit whatever i was working out every single day before 11 a.m i took like four days off in like two and a half months i was like what? I was so proud of myself because I am not a sporty girl. I was never sporty. I was not a fitness guru. But in the beginning of quarantine, you know, I just got out of a breakup. I'm like, let me be my best self. We're getting there. I, number three is eating healthy. I mean, I'm vegan, so... I mean, you could say whatever you want, but eating plants is better than eating animal carcasses, pus, fat cholesterol, like there's none of that. I mean, there is saturated fat, but it's different. I'm vegan for five years. It's very easy. If you guys want videos on what I eat in a day and everything, let me know below. I am more than willing to do that for you. On my Instagram, I'm always trying to post pictures because that's the best way to motivate someone to become vegan or, you know, I would love it if you became vegan, but being happier and and feeling better is steps in the right direction so that's all I'm able to um inspire you to do then uh, it steps in the right direction so I'm proud of you but um yeah I have a little thing on my Instagram a little like, takeout box container and that's where I put like all of my foods that I eat because I was like mm, I want to make a little food category highlight on my Instagram this way you know people know I'm vegan they're like what do you eat all the time I'm like girl just go to my Instagram it's right there hella nuts hella seeds berries fruits i'm really not a fruity girl i do prefer vegetables for sure i've been eating my fruits not gonna lie not gonna lie but trader joe's friends with your friends are hella fun not everything at trader joe's is healthy obviously but their produce selection chef's kiss it's beautiful um whole foods as well has like some nice ingredients that you can experiment with try a recipe that you think is gonna be hard it's usually nine out of ten times not as hard as you think it's gonna be and for manifesting i know that greatness comes to those who work for it so i am willing to do my best be my best push myself as far as i can to be great and achieve the things that i want and to be successful and to 
retire young and do everything that I really want to do and that I've set out like these goals for myself I'm willing to do whatever it takes to achieve them so manifesting does like you know it does work law of attraction is definitely real I can't I can't think of one time that it didn't work I don't think I actually explained what manifesting is that well in the video but the best way for me to explain it to someone who doesn't really know that much about it is just like positive thinking, positive outcome. The first step to success is believing in your success. Honestly. With manifesting, of course, like all things, like things don't come to you easily. You have to work towards them. So, I mean, this is what has made my life way better recently so i'm glad that i could come back and come back on this good note and talk about some things that are positive and happy and cheerful and can make your life better i like my channel to be a positive place and i've never really done a video like really about positivity but in my head like that's always how i've looked at it so i think this is such a good video to come back with and i mean I mean if you're new subscribe if you're not welcome back I wish I could just give you a big hug I will be back with more videos definitely I'm such a chatterbox and there's so much I want to talk to you guys about so I'll definitely be back soon but yeah that was today's video I miss you guys like damn I'm, I meant it when I said I wish I could give you a hug toodles